The latest land the city wants to sell is tiny and cannot even be directly accessed from public roads. Even so, this property and others like it are a huge headache. News 13's Chris McKee is here to explain. Yeah, Dean, this property is tucked away behind several warehouse properties near Candelaria and I-25, and it's just a fraction of an acre, but the city says it's spending way too much trying to keep it clean. Unless you live or work nearby, you may have never seen the city's massive Manal stormwater retention pond. When we bought it, it was a, a big parcel. Built in the 80s near Edith and Candelaria, the pond works for flood control, but a small sliver of leftover, undeveloped, fenced off land on the pond's north side is where the city says there's a problem. That little sliver ended up being non-usable because of the way the, the, the storm drainage was designed around that corner. The non-usable triangular piece of land is a less than half acre chunk the city used to lease to a neighboring contractor that's now gone. Today, the property is a weed and trash magnet with other issues. There has also been calls for a homeless camp that we had to clear. The planning department now wants to sell the land for around $13,000 to avoid continued upkeep costs. If we are spending our time taking care of that property, then we can't focus on other properties. And there are at least six other costly properties that the city wants to unload as well, like this trash-covered lot near the Coors and I-40 Walmart. Also, the closed-off Chemo Park at San Mateo and I-40, where the city pays for fencing and landscaping that benefits no one. So you may wonder, why doesn't the city just offload a property for a dollar if it's not doing well on the market? Chemo Park, for example, has been on the market for a year with no buyer, but the city won't sell the property unless it gets 90% of its value. We do want to be responsible with our properties. Uh, we, we don't want to just give them away. The hope is that buyers come around soon. Now, city councilors have approved the sale of that property near the Manal Retention Pond, but it is unclear if anyone is interested in buying it at this point. Dean, back to you. All right, Chris, thank you. We posted a link to all of the city's listed properties and always on krqe.com.